All right, and we are live. I'm gonna give you a moment to log in. We are all set up. I have two different pairs of dumbbells. Ones are a little heavier. If you have them at home, that's great. Those are 25 pounds each. And then I have the 15. So you have an option to do and have different ones, please join. I see Ivanka is all perfect set up in the background, yes. And this is the workout in the honor of those who serve this country, who continue the serv serving this country. It's uh, an honor of the Memorial Day. I think it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful day today. So why don't we get the workout going together? Please join us. I am going to send you a little message right here. If you, this is your first time trying, you should always consult your physician before before starting any kind of exercise program. You should probably know this if you ever play any kind of videos or YouTube videos, there is always a, a little disclaimer. So make sure that you are staying safe. Safety is the, the key, right? I am not seeing who is watching me, but I hope that you are getting ready, not just watching us, that you're gonna step into the game with us. Somebody is really stretching over there. All right, Ivanka, let's do this. Let's put your hat on. She might be doing some different exercises, but we are going to be lifting weights, moving weights around. So let's start with the stretching. But before I'm gonna go right into this. Can we do this? Not right now, get down, okay? If you have, oh, now I see. I see Sydney, I see Terry, I see Sandra, awesome. So now, some of you should have that band at home. This is a perfect band to do a stretching. I've done already some stretching, some foam rolling before the session, but right now we can do the warm up together. Ivanka, come next to me and we're gonna be doing a warm up together right there. All right. So, no dumbbells, guys. Never start the workout with the dumbbell. Always loosen up, get yourself ready. So, we're gonna start with some just a hips rotation. We're gonna go to the left. All right, shoulders back, chest is up. Let's just loosen up because some of you might be sitting, your, your hamstrings might be tight, your quads might be tight, your hips might be tight. If you're doing a lot of sitting and not a lot of walking, which a lot of people have done it recently, you might feel stiff. Now let's go to our right. All right, nice big rotation to the right. Each time you're rotating, you're doing a little bit big, bigger circle. You see my shoulders stay steady, only my hips are rotating, right? Now we're gonna go, yes, this is for a tennis, right? To put the tennis ball, she's checking my pockets. All right, let's go side to side. So when you're on your right, you're gonna push the hips to the left. When you're on the left, you're gonna push the hips to the right. So let's do this, just side to side. If this feels not, not comfortable, you can just loosen up them this way, all right? We're gonna slowly go to the next level, incorporate a little bit more movements. We're gonna start with wider feet, wider than your shoulder width. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Breathe out, open up your chest, open up your hips. Deep breath in, exhale. Legs are straight. Now, for those of you who have that tight hamstring, you're gonna feel a little pull. So don't force it. Don't do any ballistic movement like this because you're causing the muscle to actually contract, not stretch. So reach down towards the floor, legs are straight. Deep breath in and exhale. We're gonna go a little faster. I'm gonna show you the side view. Now we're gonna go up, overhead, and again, deep breath in and exhale. Try to hit through the hips. Keep your back straight. One more time. Good, now we're gonna reach side to side. So look, you reaching with your left hand down below the knee, right arm up and over. Deep breath in and exhale. I see more, more of you are logging in. This is awesome. We're just starting the exercises right now. So I hope that you can join us all here. Ivanka, keep on stretching. I want to wave to all of you. I see Diane. Great. Alessa. Okay. Francesca. Sabrina. Larissa. Sandy. Hello. Gina. Awesome. So please join us. Maybe someone that you know needs some movement today. Please. Maybe they, they not feeling good today. So Tag them in the post, let them join us. Again, let's reach down. Look, look, each time you're going, you're reaching, you're feeling, you're expanding your lungs. You're taking a deep breath in and exhale. 
Deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the lips. Guys, so many of us don't even breathe properly. You don't take enough oxygen because you feel so stressed and so tight. When you feel so stressed and so tight, what's happening to your muscle? They contract it. They, you feel tight and not strong. So let's keep our feet nice and wide. Arms open to the side. We're gonna go across. Across towards the toes and then stand up straight. Such an easy, simple exercise, yet so effective. Yes, my leg is a little bit uneven, but it's okay. I wanna stay right here in front of you in the visible zone. Deep breath in and exhale. And again, deep breath in. Come a little, a little bit further. Now, when I go across, I should be able to see my other hand. That's the whole idea. But remember, if you cannot go that deep, it's okay. Just modify the, the exercise, all right? And one more time, deep breath in, always deep breath in, and exhale, very nice. We're gonna step forward with our knee takabanka, right? We're gonna go forward, bring that knee up. Deep breath in, in inhale, inhale, and exhale. Now, bringing not yourself towards the knee, the knee towards the chest, the knee towards the chest. And again, stepping forward, engage your core, Breathe out. Now, we're gonna step back and look what's gonna happen. Step back with your right leg, reach forward towards your toes, flex your toes, tap your toes, stand up straight, step back. Reach, stand up straight, step back. Very nice. Again, step back. Deep breath in and exhale. And you can go a few more times like this. Now we're gonna go quad stretch, quad stretch, stepping forward. So, standing leg slightly bent, and you engaging, you're pulling the heel into the hip. Now, you can't hold that balance. You can hold on to something at home, furniture, a pole. Keep your legs slightly bent, push your hips forward. The moment that you're gonna do that, you're gonna feel a stretch running through the front of your leg right here. So stretching is very, very important before any kind of activity, any kind of workout. You can't just start lifting the weights. Let's do a little bit body weight. Ivanka, stay next to me. All right, so guys, we're gonna go a crawl out, a straight leg crawl out. So legs are straight, reach down towards the floor. Let's do it with me, Ivanka. One hand at a time, we're gonna crawl out to a high plank position, hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna drop our hips and look all the way up towards the ceiling. Now, don't think that we're gonna be doing some yoga, no. Now, hips up, hips up. Look, I'm crawling my hands in as my heels coming into the ground. So now I'm right here close to my toes and I'm gonna stand up. And again, let's do this, legs straight. Deep breath in, crawl your hands out. Legs staying on the floor. Now slowly legs are coming off the floor, meaning your heels, hands underneath the shoulders, drop your hips, look into the sky. And again, lift your hips up, hips up, heels coming towards the floor. You crawling your hands back in, tap your toes right here and stand up straight. Now we're gonna do a very wide squat. So the whole idea is to open up your hips. So squat down, push with your elbow. It's okay, you don't need to. Push your hands, push your elbows against those knees and then stand up straight. Now again, squat down, push down again. Don't force it and stand up straight. Now we're gonna tap our toes. Look, squat down. Grab your toes as you're squatting. Look how low the squat is. Not everybody will be able to do that, and it's okay. You don't need to go that low. The whole idea is to extend your legs and hold the toes again. And again, squat down, deep squat, deep breath in, and exhale. Hold the toes nonstop, so you're stretching the hamstrings. And again, slowly down and up. Very nice. We're gonna step forward with your left leg forward, right leg is behind. Now we're keeping that shoulder distance, shoulder width apart. We're gonna make sure that our upper body staying between the both of your legs. You're gonna bend both of your knees down, arms to the side, stay with me slowly. Left hand, left hand touches the right knee. Right hand goes up and over. Now if you have to, drop down that leg on the floor and come across. And again, let's switch, right leg forward. Left leg to the side, to the back. You see, I'm keeping the shoulder width apart, right? Drop down if you have to, both knees at 90 degree, arms to the side. Reach with your right hand to the left knee right here and your left arm up and over. 
and you feel that stretch. The hip flexor stretch. Let's do it one more time. Now we're gonna go a little faster. Now you do know it. Bam, reach and switch. Step back, both legs 90 degrees, arm to the side. Awesome, awesome job. All right, so dumbbells ready. Who is up? Just write it down. Who is, who is working out? Pedro, I see. Julie, Gustavo, Edward, this is awesome. Jiha, Lisa, I'm Mimosa. There is a bunch of you here. Mike, Lena, great. Write it down if you're working out. Set your dumbbells to the side and let's rock and roll. Four exercises, but the funky part is that we're gonna be rotating them in a different way. All right, ready? So. If you have light dumbbells, you can start the first one just to loosen up your chest. Ivanka might be doing some push-ups. I'm going to start very light. We're going to be doing regular chest press. Now, you have a bench, do it on a bench. You're going to have actually more range of motion. Knees might, might be, must be bent. Deep breath in through the nose and exhale for the lips. 90 degrees. Because when you're on a, going to be on a bench, you're going to go below that that ground right so you're gonna actually increase the range of motion that's why it's so good to do these chest presses on a bench to do them on the ball to do them on the ball so as well so let's pump them i'm gonna tell you when we're gonna be done so just keep on going if i'm going you are going i might stop just to explain but you're gonna keep on going brace your abdominals knees are bent knees are not straight please do not do that save your lower back abs tight glutes tight this is just a warm-up round. We gotta loosen up a little bit more. Never start heavy of any exercises, ever. You never start lifting with your maximum weight that you have at home. You, you gotta really learn the movement, make sure that your body is warmed up. And time. The clock is in my hand and in my head. All right, let's do this. We're gonna go right into the walking squat. So if you do not have the weeds, how are you gonna do this? You're gonna squat down, you're gonna walk out, right leg, left leg, right back in, back is straight, look nice, deep, step, walk, left, and stand up straight. Now, if you're gonna have the dumbbells, you're gonna place your dumbbells right in the center. Ivanka is doing side plank, this is so adorable. All right, support yourself. Now let's do left leg. Right leg, at sight, left leg, big step forward, right leg, and look, you're almost doing that deadlift motion. Again, let's do this. You're alternating sides, so right, left, right, left, stand up straight. Again, squat, left, right, left, right, back is straight, pull, and again, down, down, right, left, I'm alternating the sides. Now left side, left right left right and left power up your hips don't lift with your lower back that's very important all right back is straight pull deep breath in left right left right you might be replaying this video later i'm not sure maybe you're gonna get ready after that's okay save these videos replay them send us a message today some of you just logging in the first time. We started our virtual six week transformation challenge. This is amazing. You can step up your game in times of crisis. Imagine this. Yes, I have to concentrate which leg is starting. Let's do one more time. So if you are ready for the challenge, you better send me a message and we can hook you up still today. You still have a chance to log yourself in. And our board almost got blown, blown away from that wind. Ivanka, I think you will need to bring some very, very light rock to support those. All right, guys, now what's next? Next exercise coming up. We're gonna do bent over row. Now bent over row, it's very, tricky for a lot of you i know it's a difficult exercise what you need to do set yourself a foot away from a wall now you're gonna hinge forward with the hips look and your butt will literally touch the wall behind you i have this already mastered we're gonna be doing a row with both dumbbells we did chest press with both we're gonna do rows with both okay 
So you're gonna be rowing right in here, abs tight, glutes tight. Now a lot of you rounding their backs. You go like this, or you are too high. You need to be at 45 degree angle to hit that right spot for the exercise. Back is straight, you pinching your shoulder blades together, you're squeezing your bicep, you're squeezing your tricep, you're staying firmly with your legs on the ground, abs are tight, glutes are tight, knees are slightly bent, and time. All right, fourth exercise right now. We did hip dominant, now we're gonna do more into knee. So look, we're gonna step back into reverse lunge. Now, we're gonna get one dumbbell, we're gonna hold that dumbbell right in front so you can engage your bicep right in here. So not very close, a little farther out, okay? Right in here. You're gonna step back, both legs at 90 degrees. You're gonna alternate your legs. So don't shift the weight towards the back. The whole weight is on that front leg. The back leg is just stepping, both knees hitting at 90 degrees. Look, I'm standing with my upper body in between both legs. So I'm not switching anything here, okay? And of course, you gotta regulate the breathing. Some of you that just started the exercises, just do it body weight with me. If you have TRX, you can totally get that TRX going. I'm staying on that front leg, it's only on that heel, firm. Now why are we holding the dumbbell? Your bicep will be engaged right there, your shoulders, your abs, your glutes, hamstrings, in the back of your legs, quads. Don't rush these motions. We're going slow, we're going deep, we're squeezing, we're tightening, we gotta move. There is too much sitting around, too much negative emotions coming down on us. We gotta move, we gotta go, right? Deep breath in, ah, one more time. Nice, good. So now, each time, just loosen up, quad stretch, you might do a glute stretch. You might hold on to the TRX, stretch your arms, whatever it might be, drinking your water. Now watch this. We're not starting from the first one. We're starting from the second one. You got it? Walking squatters, let's do this. Don't you worry. I'm gonna walk you through this. Just bear with me, stay with me throughout the whole time. Let's do this. Right leg. Left leg, right and left, Ivanka. You can actually do this one. You like squat press, so you can follow us. Let's do left. If you have an injury in one leg, use the other leg. It's fine. You, you can always modify. You see, I don't want you to jump. We're not doing a squat thrust. This is a squat thrust. Some of you will say a burpee. No, there's no burpee. There's no such a thing as burpee. Look up and you find out the truth, what kind of exercise it, it is. All right, we walking, back is straight. You gotta go deep to the ground, open up those hips, open up, squeeze, stand up straight. This is our second round. Think Ivanka, I need you here to really make us accountable because the boys are traveling across the country. You can see them coming Oh, they are coming. You're gonna see them coming out with these crazy push-ups on the way to New York. And time. Now you know what was next. It was bent over roll. Shake it, grab your dumbbells, let's go. Now you know how to hinge. You're hinging forward, right? Shoulders back, chest is out. Do not change anything. Look, you're dropping. You're right here. Row it, do not do alternating. Just stay with me. We're gonna get to those alternating. We're gonna row. You're gonna engage your back. Squeeze, breathe out. And don't rush it down. Everything is control. On the way down and on the way up. Yes, you will feel this in your calves, of course. It takes a load. Your hamstrings, your abs, your abs working ton here. My neck is in a neutral position. I'm not looking straight up. 
to the side. Please do not look to the side of the screen. Stay focused. Stay there. Time. We're going right into that reverse lunge. You see, I am out of breath. But that's the whole idea. Remember, hold that dumbbells right here. Step back. Now you know it. 90 degrees. There is no jumps. You don't have an equipment. That's fine. Remember, the front leg takes the whole load right here. Whew. Yes, it's hot. Super hot. I wonder how many degrees is there, Ivanka. Can you check how many degrees we have today? I know that it's hot everywhere. Even Pennsylvania was hot today. <laughs> so you need some extra water, huh? You see, we can keep on talking and keep on going. Yes. The next round, you can grab, of course, heavy weights. Move, move, move. We're going to be finishing this round with some chest press. Yes, the bicep, shoulders right here, the front side. I love it. I'm talking, you going, and look, you're not even gonna know how many you did. You just will know that you did a lot of time. I'm graduating. I hope you're gonna graduate too, because we're gonna get the chest press as your final right now. So you see how we rotated them? If you didn't see, it's okay. That's why you have a coach that guides you. Are we doing chest press? Are you doing push-ups? Or what? 25 in each hand. Let's do this. Above the chest, guys. Do not rest the dumbbells on the floor. Strong, right here. Chest. Arms. Explode up. They can be a little bit on the angle like mine are. All right? Abs tight, glutes tight. Strong arms. Think about it. Think about that working tricep, these arms. Really engage your mind into this exercise because this hour is for you. No one else but you. I want you to really be present here. Think about the exercises. Think how much your arms will get stronger, how your whole body will respond to it. Yes, we are moving. We still have a few more to go. The arms can take it. Ha! Sometimes we set up the clock, sometimes we don't. And time, slowly lower down the equipment, do not just throw them anywhere. So now we finished. Now we're gonna start with our bend over roll, the next round. And we're gonna easily fit four rounds here. Look how awesome that was. I'm not going to 25s. I'm gonna keep my 15, but if you have 20 or really heavy, you're doing heavy lifting, that's fine, let's do this. We're gonna go this direction now. You ready? The next round starts, let's do this. Bend over, roll them, puff. You can count, write it down how many you did after. Let's see. Ivanka, do bend over, roll. With me. Want to do chest press? Yes, abs tight, glutes tight. Neutral spine. Squeeze it. Oh yeah, whole body is working. Again. And time, bend over started, reverse lunge is going now. So after the exercise that it's starting, you continue all the exercises that happen after, and then you're looping around to the front, right? Alternate your legs right here. All right, so if you have an injury with your knee, or you can't step back with the reverse lunge, what you should have at home is a TRX. T-Rex, right, Ivanka? TRX, that's very important. Get that TRX going, because it's gonna release all the tension from your lower body. Keep on going, I'm gonna show you, because we have the TRX right in here. So people say, oh, I can't work out because of my injury. Nowadays, all the tools are for us to do these exercises. So you see, right there, you're gonna install it at home, 
and you're gonna have an amazing workout with modifications oh yeah let's do this we still go again can you do the reverse lunge or you still on the chest press i think she's still doing some kind of a chest press day now she's doing leg lift it's okay we are going now do you know what's next coming up chest press yes step back engage your bicep shoulders back nice one more right squeeze one more left squeeze safely put these dumbbells down do not just throw them safety is first we are going into the chest press if you're doing it on the bench do it them on the bench on the ball on the ball to ball on the floor like us stay safe and away from anybody else right there ah engage your abs squeeze your chest let's see how many we're gonna do yes you should really engage right now get a little heavier dumbbells strong don't tap the floor barely above it right there you're gonna feel that tricep almost touching but you're not gonna touch shoulders arms abs look at the ceiling chin away from your chest if you are on a ball you should have a totally tabletop position stable hips should be up Eggs are glutes tight, engaged. Ah, let's do a few more. Ah, ah nice, over 20. Over 20. Good. Now we're finishing with that squat thrust. You see, the squat thrust now became a last exercise. And everything under control, so don't you worry, we're not going to miss anything all right let's squat see feet are wide i'm going down and that's how i'm gonna come up too let's walk 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 back in and pull don't do pull like this that's why you are very low with these dumbbells so when you stand up you are using not your back but your glutes your hips squat down right leg is going now left leg is going, left, look straight ahead each time, control the dumbbells on the way down, nice big step, now some of you can't do that, it's okay, so if you cannot do a full range of motion, I don't want you to add the load, okay, no load till you're gonna have this a little bit better and under control, all right, your body will do enough work to lift your own body weight, just keep on practicing the motion, the movement, and you're going to be fine. Breathe out. Let's do one more, right? Oh, yeah, it's hard. Left. One more left. Yes. And this is just Facebook follow along. If you are on a Zoom with us, you are just being coached the coach is not working out with you the coach is just coaching we're starting with the reverse lunge right now so i want you to grab your dumbbell or body weight and you are going i need a sip of water of course my pre-workout what's in it is an awesome awesome stuff like bcaa beverage mix beverage mix Skin Collagen Beauty Booster. Today I add a lift off. Or sometimes I don't add the lift off, I add the tea. Sometimes we use a, even adding a pre workout bang. It depends on your mood, what you want. The variety is there. And that's the beauty of it. You have a choice. You know, you want a stronger one or a little bit weaker. <sighs> So it's up to you. You might have an awesome energy that day. You might not need any energy. Here go, honey. Get your Ivanka. No, stop. Stop doing these exercises. All right. You know why? You know why? Get up. 
sat back. All right, keep on going. Right there. Deep breath in and exhale. We are moving. Who is coming with us? Who is working with us? Who is working with us? Write it down. Where are you coming from, of course? This is awesome. Maybe you're working, watching from another country. And you wanna join the challenge today, time. Now you know what's coming. We started with the last one. Now we gotta do the, move a little bit to the side. We're gonna, we're gonna go into the chest press. Step up, step, 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 right there. All right? Let's do this, chest press. Ready? Let's do this. Make sure that you are lifting your heavy weights now. If it's your first time, it's okay. You can start with the light ones and build yourself up to it. Like deep breath in now and exhale. Make sure you're breathing. Hold these dumbbells stable. Make sure that the wrist is straight, that it's not turned in a weird way, that later on you're gonna feel it in your wrist. The motion has to come with full breathing out and in. You need to deliver the oxygen. Stick your chest out. Yes. And time. We're going to have plenty of those today. Woo. This is our chest press. We're going right into our squat thrust and that lift. Yes, good job. You're doing chest press with pullover. I like it. Awesome. All right, let's do this. We are looking right here. Lifting. Remember, alternate your legs. Now you know it. If you're just joining now, make sure you're watching from the very beginning. You need to do some stretching. You need to do some loosening up your arms, your legs, your hips. We only have a bend over here. And then we are done for this part. We have three groups today. This is so much good and stable balance watch what we're gonna be doing later we're gonna get you a little bit out of your comfort zone oh yeah let's do one more right left left ha 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 all right guys how are we feeling how are you feeling Eliana John Ooh, I'm going up, Maria. Nice, you joined the challenge. Awesome, Marianne. Jeffrey. Jackie. Josephine. Guys, I'm sweating. I don't know if this is your first workout or second workout. Some of you already did this amazing session. I'm waving to all of you because we cannot take that much break. And yes, 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 I'm Ben. Barbie. Barbie. Teresa. Oh my gosh, Teresa. Ronnie, hello. Peak freaks in the house. All right, guys, listen up. Roll at your shoulders, shake it, legs, reach down, go side to side. You all good? Ivanka, you all good? All right, she's listening up too. Yes, we're starting a new round. Drink your water if you're working out outside. Make sure that you're staying hydrated. Alternating chest press. This one has the left off. You can have just a sip. Just a sip. She loves Herbalife. She's like the Herbalife queen right here. Yes. All right. Yes, that's the lift off. You can show everybody what we have in there. Yeah, you can come closer to the screen. We are doing a chest press, my friends, but alternating. So first, different four exercises right now. Just watch your step sweet, sweet stuff. All right, so now, yes, you could be on a bench, you could be on a ball, you could be on a balsa ball. Now, alternating. Now, there is different alternation 
what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go like this. Right arm, down, left arm, down. Left arm, down, right arm down. Again, right first, down, left second, down. Left first, down, right. Now here, this is the thing guys. I'm not resting my dumbbells on the floor. I'm like an inch from that ground. So my arms, I'm working super hard. Remember, sometimes it's right. Uh, then it's that left that just pressed. You're gonna have definitely less reps here. That's the ooh, whole goal and idea. All right, time. Or just do a few more. Mine were done. Yours were done, Evanka, too. All right, deadlift to alternating single leg deadlift. Now, if you've never tried that motion, Please get yourself a lighter dumbbells or no dumbbells. First strike motion. Look, because this is what we're gonna do. Pretend that you have suitcase in both hands. So suitcase on the side, right? Suitcase, shoulders back, chest is down. We're gonna lean forward. So this is like your hands will go towards the toes like this, right? But then look what's gonna happen after. So suitcase, power, hips, glutes, glute, uh, dominant exercise, lift, pull with your abs and your glutes. Now you're gonna go single on your left, single on your right. So what I'm doing, I'm bending my standing leg and I'm pushing the other leg out straight. So when you're gonna get to that motion, look how straight you are, like a plane, yes. So now we're gonna get our dumbbells. You practicing without, it's up to you. You're gonna do it with me, let's do this. That left. Power, look, leg goes back. I'm starting with my left. I'm bending, again. Don't just go like this, guys. This. Make sure that you're bending that whole knee and your back and your glutes is straight as a plane, all right? So, all right, right leg. One, less, one leg is always weaker than the other. Back to the deadlift, left leg. Stand up, right leg, down the floor, left leg, up, back, straight. And again, deadlift, both legs, shoulder width, left, abs tight, shoulders, hips, square. I can feel it on my glute. I hope that you are feeling this one too. Now, your body will want to rotate. You gotta really balance it out. That's a hard one, all right? Squeeze, right leg. Squeeze, yes. And one more time, left. One more time, right. That right became weaker on my side because I have a hip impingement with my left. So look how your body reacts. The other side took over and now the other side is different than this one. All right, high plank, renegade row. But I'm super grateful that I can still exercise after having a shot and being able to move. So, no excuses. Renegade row. Let's do this. We're gonna do right arm only. Ivanka, are you joining me here? So left hand can be on the ground or on your dumbbell, it's up to you. Feet should be wide for stability. We're gonna row that right arm only. Let's remember which one we did because the next time around, we gotta go to the other arm, okay? Abs tight, do not rotate your hips here, okay? Chest is strong, hips are strong. You are rowing, you stay on the ball of your feet. Don't rotate your hips, Evanka is doing mountain climbers, okay, Evanka? Keep on going. Yes, time, don't you worry about the left arm. We're gonna do this next time around. We're gonna do a split squat. Now, get your dumbbells going here. Right arm, left, left leg goes forward, right leg goes back. Let's remember which one was it, okay? Because we're gonna do a split. So you're going straight down and straight up, but we're gonna add those bicep, really hammer curls, okay? So, again, down and up. So on the way down, arms are extended. On the way up, 
dumbbells going with you. So again, down and up and again, down and up. So do not move those legs anywhere. The back leg stays supported on the ball of the foot, not on the entire heel. All right, and again, down, let's do it one more time. And up, squeeze, very nice. All right, so this was your four. Now you learn new ones. Now we gotta start with that deadlift. You remember, that's your first one. So let's do this, because we're not starting with our chest. Chest gonna finish, so let's do this. Deadlift, now you know it, left leg. Bam, squeeze that glute, that knee is slightly bent, right here. Yes, it's a challenge. Back to the deadlift. I'm hinging through the hips, totally the hips. My back remains straight. My hips remain straight. You can totally do this with, without any dumbbells. The dumbbell is a challenge right here. Point the other leg out behind you. This is a balance. This is a, a lot to handle for your body. But keep on practicing at home. Maybe hold on to the furniture if you have to. This is a totally new exercise for some of you. It's good to be challenged. You can go a little lower on them, below that knee level without changing the back positioning in your legs. Awesome. If you cannot, if you start feeling that you changing the technique, don't go any lower, okay? Keep those dumbbells firm in your hands. Your arms are still working, remember. This is a load right here. And time. We're doing high plank, renegade roll. Left arm now. Left arm, you can have that dumbbell underneath the other hand. That's fine, keep your feet wide. Otherwise, if you're here, you're gonna be totally rotating too much of those hips. We want it to be stable. Right hand is supported, straight down from that shoulder. Roll it, pause it, squeeze it, and even hold your hand like this. I do that a lot of times, or I hold myself right here on that dumbbell, just so I can have more stability, that's fine too. Whatever works for you, you're gonna feel that. Just watch those shoulders, stay firmly with legs extended, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. This is a totally isometric exercise, time. Your whole body is working here. So don't think that this is just your arm. All right, left leg was forward. I remember, now right leg is forward, left leg is back. You're staying right in between both of your legs. Go straight down, and yes, we're gonna come up. Deep breath in is here, and exhale. Yes, slowly, down. You feel that load in your quads, in your hamstrings. Bring it up, yes, so you totally working look this is a whole total body exercise we're covering the chest we're covering the the hip dominant the knee dominant exercises we're working on our back and we're rotating so it's not always a repetition of the same over and over we're doing all different ones because we are rotating Yes, and your body is shaking. This is good. We're finishing this round with a chest press. Chest press, grab your dumbbells. Sipping on your pre-workout in a hot day gives you all the hydration. Don't think that water is enough just because we are made out of water. You need a hydration on the hot days because you're sweating. Remember how we're going, right? Down, not totally on the floor. Left down, now left goes. Right is holding still. Now left is holding, right is going. Now right is going. Now left is going. Now left is going up. Left is holding, right is going. Right is holding up, right is going. Down, left. 
Now left again. Now right. Now right again. Full range of motion. Now left. Now left again. Ah, and time. Nice. I hope you felt this. I did it. Yes, so we started with that deadlift. Now look, we're gonna start with the high plank renegade row. We did right, we did left. Now we're gonna go right again, because we have four of them. So we're gonna have a chance to do left. Now you know how it goes. You have to stay wide. It's up to you this way or that way. Let's row it. Hip stable. That dumbbell goes to the side of your rib cage. Hand is stable. It's okay to change the position. Moving on your dumbbell or holding it. That's fine. Abs tight, glutes tight. Squeeze your bicep. Squeeze your tricep. Slowly lower that dumbbell towards the floor. You feel your abs, you feel your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings. Tight, strong. Yes, if you are elevated, you might have a little bit more range of motion here because you are off the ground. So you're gonna feel different. Ah, whew. one more, Ivanka, what you're working on. Ah, time. Now, we are doing the split. We did left, right, left, again. Whew. We are doing good, guys. Down and up. Let's pump those arms, shoulders back, chest is up. Looking straight ahead. You feel if your hips are straight. How are you doing? Please, if you are for whatever reason taking a break now, just write it down. Write it down, how are you doing? If you're doing it, or are you gonna do it later? When I do them, I feel like you're totally working out with me, and this is fun. Doing exercises with other people, I think it's amazing. Don't you think? You feel so much motivation. You see others exercising hard, right? Awesome. Bring it down safe. Down. We're gonna get the, the right one. I am soaking wet. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, so we did that split. We're gonna do alternating chest. Let's do this. Now you know how it was working. I don't do it with me. Where's your other dumbbell? Do that chest press with me, okay? Do the chest press. Just keep your knees bent, please. Keep your knees bent. <clears throat> Let's do this. Right arm. Left arm. Left up. Right up. Right. Keep them inch off the floor. You're controlling it. And again, concentrate. Just look at that ceiling. Keep that chin away from your chest. Ah, yes, it's hard. It should be hard. The whole body is shaking right now. It's okay. We're gonna make it through one more time. Ah, finish with that left. You feel it. You almost can't make it. Ah, but you did it. Woo. All right. Woo. Yes. Deadlift. Ah. Deadlift, deadlift. Woo. That's your finish. Right now. Let's do this. Now we totally get that exercise. We're lifting the suitcases. We're pushing that plane on the on your left leg, on your right leg, and you feel that, you feel it, which side is so much weaker. It's amazing. Certain exercises, you're gonna feel it. Ah, that the right leg will be stronger, sometimes the left one, sometimes the left arm, sometimes the left, right arm. It's good to test them. It's good to do so many different ones. <sighs> Am I distracting you? I try to just talk to you. So you are just keep going. 
Glutes. Look here, back straight. Strong legs, strong arms, power. Think powering, think stiff. Stiff in a way like tight and strong. Not like stiff, you can't move, but strong. That's gonna help you to get for the exercises, okay? Deep breath in, and with the motion, exhale. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, but we are not done. <laughs> we are not done. We gotta do the last one. It's the split squat starting the round. <sighs> sure, sweetie. Here. We started with the left. Then we have the right. And we have the left. Now we are on our right. You see how I'm going with this? You just need to find out which one you started with. And it's gonna go your brain will lead you to the right one right leg is forward left leg is back let's start this is final here so we're going down and up elbows are to the side down push remember that front leg is firmly on the heel yes i just tapped that left knee on the ground but i don't want you to like hit it on the ground you're going close towards the ground but not slamming or jamming it. The back leg remains non-stop on the ball of that foot. Non-stop. All right? Make sure you're not switching anything. We're almost coming to the end here. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings. My body is like shaking, fighting it at this point. Of course, time, why? You're lifting pounds and pounds of weight. Like, think about it. So many different reps. Of course, you're breaking down the muscle right now. But how are we going to keep ourselves safe? By hydrating, delivering the best to the muscles, recovering. Let's do the chest. Vanka, are you doing the chest press with us? It's up to you which one you start. Remember, if the left goes right, rest, but not on the floor, above the ground. The left has to go first. Now right, at side, right again, above the ground. Now left, left again. Now right, all these flies are above me, right everywhere. Uh, you know that you're sweating, they just come in. I'm gonna knock one out with the dumbbell. Uh, and um, we're making these noises <laughs> like we lift so much weight, but we do 25 pounds in each arm. That's 50 pounds. All right. Deadlift. 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 Let's get that body moving. Suitcase. Step back is straight. Knees are bent. Squeeze. Right leg, back is straight. Shoulders, hips are square. Ah, I feel it. Like when you're pushing from the ground, because that's the heel's gonna do. When you here, engage your right glute and that knee, those dumbbells go totally, you are parallel towards the ground and you're pushing, you're extending, you're pushing, you feel that heel squeezing and the energy going, ah, through that hip. Lift, power. Yes, right, awesome, left. I'm sure you guys are sweating at home. Watch that back, because that left, you have to be very careful with your lower back, because you want to make sure that you're lifting with your legs, not your lower back. That's why starting with lighter dumbbells, it's the key. All right, renegade roll, this final one. The split squat was the last one. Renegade roll finishes the round. We did left, right, left, right. No, we did right, left, right, left. Nobody caught on this one? Or you did it? If you did it, good for you. Left one is going. Hands directly underneath the shoulder. 
my feet are wider so I'm not because I don't want you to rotate those hips I'm actually gonna get that dumbbell going you are rowing I want to be elevated from the space Ivanka 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 do the rows with me or do mountain climbers turn around the other direction please the other direction All right, how are we doing? Huh? How are we doing? Who is with us? Whew. Hello, I'm waving to you. This is my little break right now, Beth. Cindy, Rob, Deborah, I hope you are working out with us. Margaret, Henji, Michelle, Cindy, Jessica, Jason. All right, I think I flipped the camera on you. <laughs> I'm back on. Wanted to wave to all of you. Guys, stay hydrated. Drink your pre-workout. Finishing off last, last group right now. This is awesome. I feel good. All right, from the top, we're going to do the chest press right now. So a little bit different. Both arms we at the top and now one at a time. One will remain at the top. So you see, a sim simple chest press I can literally create a hundred of different ones of those. Just one motion, just one move, and you're gonna come up with all these awesome ideas. So, and the body will behave differently. So, let's do this. First starts with first, that's how we always do, how this workout has been going. So, the chest press starts. So look, both dumbbells at the top from your chest. We're gonna go right down, not tapping the ground. Press it up. Now, left one, press. Deep breath in is here, and exhale. Left arm, deep breath in, and exhale. Chest, you stick out that chest, strong arms, strong shoulders. Engage at the top and the bottom position. Go for full range of motion. You're gonna be on the ball, all the ball stool, all the bench, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are elevated from the ground. You're gonna have a bigger range of motion. Just watch those shoulders, because you're gonna be below that shoulder level. So you gotta watch those shoulders, okay? Maybe you started on your right, maybe on your left. Control the dumbbell. Don't just let it fling and flip all over the place. Just have a control. You have a control in your life, and you're gonna have a control with the dumbbell. Are we clear on that? I hope we're clear on that. They can't just flop around with those dumbbells. Squeeze, tight, strong. Yes, we lifting still. Yes, we are down on the floor. Yes, we still pressing. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. And time. New group, new exercises. We're gonna be doing the bridge on the floor. Now, if you have a medicine ball that you can press place it that's fine if you have a couch that you want to put your legs on it that's fine if you have a bosu ball then you can do this yes that's fine <clears throat> dig those heels i'm gonna get just one dumbbell i'm gonna place them here Ivanka, please do not come there get down get down thank you all right we're gonna put these dumbbells up here on top of your quads you're gonna lift yourself up and you're gonna hold that bridge position now, your one hand can be on the dumbbell holding it, the other one can be on the floor or on the dumbbell. You can hold both of your hands on top of the dumbbells. Don't just go halfway through. I want you to really push those hips and squeeze your glutes. You're gonna feel it in your hamstrings. You're gonna feel it in your glutes. Just support that dumbbell and hold, squeeze. Your knees are in line with your ankles. They are not in a weird position. They, the heels shouldn't be right at at the glutes. This should be a 90 degree angle. And what I mean by that is keep on going. When you are on the floor, on the ground, that's a 90 degree. It's not, shouldn't be here. And then you're pushing and those heels touching the glutes. It should be 
like that D position, knee in line with the ankle. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings, you're gonna feel this in your quads, all right? That's the position that you should be holding. All right, we're gonna go a single leg row. So now, if you have one dumbbell, you're gonna work with that one dumbbell. If you have both, you have both. We're gonna start with our left leg on the floor. Remember, if you're just logging in, this is our the end of the workout. Watch this from the beginning. Make sure that you're doing all of these stretches and exercises. Left leg, shoulders back, chest is up. Now we're gonna push that right leg. Look, left knee is slightly bent. I'm creating a plane out of my body. Now we're gonna roll those dumbbells up. And now look, we're gonna lower our right, and then your left, and then you're holding them. Yes, you gotta get that balance going. My left knee is slightly bent. Straight towards the ground. Yes. Deep breath in right here. You're squeezing your right glute. That right leg is extended as a plane. Now, for those of you, keep on going. If you're doing this the first time, you might be holding on to that pole, just like this. Look, this is the position, straight line, straight. Not the hip shouldn't be rotating that way. It should be right here. The knee is slightly bent. You shouldn't have left leg. Knee is slightly bent right here. Hips, shoulders are square. So when you stand up, you would have this position, all right? So make sure that this is how you're working. So we were on the left leg on the floor. Good. We did alternating dumbbells, rows, a single leg bridge. We have the bridge. Now we're gonna do just squat, squat to press. Now, how are we gonna do that squat? Since we have both dumbbells on the bicep, on the hammer curl, we're gonna place those dumbbells close to our, our shoulders. Now you, you have one dumbbell, it's fine. You're gonna work with one, but you can still press this the same way. We're gonna squat, invisible chair, press right. Squat, press left. Let's do this. Yes. You doing a deep squat. Now how you squatting is sitting on an invisible chair. You do not master the squat yet. You have a problem squatting. Use TRX. First of all, learn before you're pressing the load. Second of all, put the chair behind you. The chair can be easily so when you when you sit down it's going to be a a chair with like a knee level or if you have a bad knee you're gonna go with a chair that is a little higher. So you don't need to go as deep on those squats. You can go on a quarter squat. I have that TRX right here. That's what I was telling you about with bad knees, bad hips. Look, when I squat, I'm taking a load. I can go that load and believe it or not, some of you that will try the TRX the first time, you're gonna be amazed how much of a range of motion you can have even you have bad knees and bad hips. It's gonna take all that load. All right, time, we did that. Now we're gonna start with the second exercise. You remember what was second? It was our bridge. I have 25 pounds on it. I like to keep one dumbbell, not two, but you can get a heavier dumbbell and we're gonna hold. Remember, dumbbell is at the top of your, on top of your quads, hips are super high. That super high meaning like you go up and then you go a little bit notch of the next level. So you're gonna feel that tightening in those hamstrings and those glutes and those abs. Hold it. You're gonna squeeze and tighten up and dig those heels into the floor. Ivanka, do a bridge with me. This is such a good exercise. Holding, squeezing the other, the other direction. And time. You, you don't need to go that high. You don't need to go that high. Turn the other direction. All right. We're going into single leg row. Single leg row. We did left arm, both arms, left leg. Turn the other direction, sweetie. And we're gonna have the right leg on the floor. I'm gonna set Ivanka up. All right, she's going with her bridging. All right, she's all good, all set. So right leg, ready? 
shoulders back, chest is out. All right, let's get this one going. Knee is bent. You remember, you're holding right here and you're row rowing one arm at a time. You gotta have really tight glutes. That right leg, a lot of balance here. Extend that right, left leg all the way out. Row it, row it, row it. Squeeze it. And time. This one is hard. This one is hard. Squat to alternating presses. You wanna do this one with me? Squat to alternating press. All right. Squat to press. Squat to press. And then the chest will be the one that's gonna finish this round. And then we're gonna start with the single leg roll as first. Good job. Squat with me and press. Squat and press. Good job, Ivanka. Squat and press. She's switching the dumbbell. And that's the whole idea. Abs tight, glutes tight. You have a load in front of you. You gotta pay attention. Right? One more left. The arm is coming close towards the head and time. This was hard. I know this was hard. We still have a little bit of juice to squeeze. All right? A little bit. But that's how you should feel when you lift. That's how you should feel when you're going to do these exercises. That you, You're sweating and it's hard. All right, guys. At the top, you remember? We are right here. We are pressing. Always resetting at the top. This exercise finishes the round since we start with the bridge. And we're gonna start with single leg deadlift. And we're gonna have two of those four exercises still to go. So it's eight total. Chest is out, press, strong, control. Deep breath in and exhale. If we're running out of time right now, if we're a little bit over an hour, it's okay, this is just the finish line. You're gonna do a little bit more. It's all good. Remember, don't rest them on the floor. Keep them strong, keep them steady. Let them keep on going, flying. Time, nice. All right, we're gonna get those lighter dumbbells unless you, you are all good to go with that single leg, alternating bend over row from the top position. All right. Left, right, left. Let's do this. Right here. Left leg on the floor. Pull your dumbbells in, extend your right leg, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. A lot of balance, a lot of core. Shoulders and hips should be totally square. You can hold some, to, toward something, something at home and you can do just single arm. This is advanced. You might just be holding a position and learning how to hold that plane. Almost there. Row it with me strong. And time. All right, we're gonna have one more of those to go. We're gonna do squat and press. Seems like we just did that, but that's how the rotation goes. Ah, they starting getting stiff. Stretch your quads before you go. Dumbbells close towards the shoulders, but not resting. Avanka, squat to press. We are almost at the top. Power up. Extend your arms. Don't rest your dumbbells on the shoulders. You're going low. If your hips are good and you want to go below those knee level, that's fine. There are so many different schools nowadays that you can go below your knee level. Everybody, remember, all of us, we look, we have the hips, we have the, the knees, we have the same parts, but yet each of us will have a different range of motion. And one person will be fine doing a low squat, and the other one is not. So don't compare yourself to others. You have to find your own way, all right, of squatting and pressing. 
So just be aware of this, all right? Good. Chest press. Chest press. Ivanka, let's do this. Let's do this. Chest press. Yes. Okay. From the top. One arm at a time. We are almost at the end. So just bear with me. Work out with me, do not give up. You gotta finish with us. You gotta finish till the end. We are breathing into the nose, out to the mouth. You still have a chance, last day, to log yourself into the six week virtual transformation challenge. Guys, the fact that the gyms at one point will be open does not mean anything. This is going to be a totally new different game, new game of anything. This is going to be our new norm, but you cannot wait for the moment when the gym's going to open. Some of you tell me this when I call you, oh, I will just come when the gym is open. Yes, another month. Who knows when? You need to act now, today. Bridge. Bridge. So the transformation challenge will prepare you. Hold your hips up, get the dumbbell going, squeeze. You remember, you're going up and then a notch higher. That's when you're gonna feel it. That's when everything will engage, glutes, hamstrings. So sign up with us for the six week virtual challenge. Enjoy the training. Every single day is a different session. Every single day you're gonna learn something new about yourself. Every single day, you're going to overcome some obstacle and it's going to be easier for you. Every single day, you're going to have a better day than you had before. Every single day, you're going to do something more for yourself and you're going to feel better about yourself. Time. Squat to press. Tavanka, squat to press. Squat, no. Huh. Actually, squat to press is starting the round. That's it. This is the end. You can start clapping for yourself because you are at the at the finish line. Let's do this. This is final. Look, we are going. Squat to press. Let's do this. Flip those dumbbells up. I feel them. Squat, press. Squat, do press. Squat, two press, alternate your arms, abs tight, glutes tight, dumbbells are not resting, they look like they're resting, but they are not, low squat, oh yeah, don't rush it, power up, that's like 30 pounds right here, that's a little bit less than I had in my bro pregnancies, ah, Oh, about the same almost. Huh. Time. All right. Chest press. Whew. From the top. We put on some work. Today. Today and every day we do this. All right. This is it. Look. Chest press. Bridge. Single leg roll. And you are done. Avanka, chest press with me. Give in with that one dumbbell. Do what you can do. Keep on pressing, guys. I have to reset my hand. Oh, I feel that soreness coming. I think it's a big bubble on my hand. Press it strong, tight. Keep on pressing. Few more, few more. Few more, few more. Three. Two and one. Grab that dumbbell for your bridge. Grab that dumbbell. Yes. Remember, extend, squeeze, and push a little higher. Those hands are just holding that dumbbell right here. Squeeze. You feel it. Hamstrings, glutes, 
Yes. Glutes are working. Hold that dumbbell. Squeeze. Feet flat on the floor. Dig those heels in. You can lift your toes up and dig those heels in. This is it. Ten. Evoca, count. Ha louder. So they Seven, can. Seven. Six. Slower. And time, single leg row. Left, right, left, right. Right leg on the floor. Right leg on the floor. Grab those dumbbells. All right, stay stable. Stay straight. Shoulders back. Dig that heel into the ground. Lean forward. Whole body is lateral. Hold those dumbbells right here. Rip cage and just roll one at a time. Yes, balance, squeeze. Remember, you can hold on to something at home. You're creating a balance here. The body is fighting to hold that position. Right, left. And time. See how lower and how slow we put these dumbbells down. Out of breath. This was hard. How are you doing? How are you all doing here? Did you do the session with us? If you didn't, please. I see Randy. I see Kate. Gina, so many of you still here logging in. Make sure you're starting from the very, very, very beginning. Do that session. It's fun. It's great. Monday lifting. That's what we do on Mondays. We got to lift. Lift. Don't be afraid of lifting. Ladies, especially. You think that you're going to get bulky. You cannot get bulky. You cannot. You do not have enough testosterone to get bulky. Unless you deliver the testosterone. Other than that, you can't. High intensity training, we're gonna do lift and then high intensity cardio and then we're gonna have a mix and then you can box and do all these different sessions that will make you look lean and still good and and toned. And that's what it's all about, our six week challenge. I'm gonna as the thank you for doing this today. I'm gonna place this right here, six week challenge right here for you. What is it, what is it? Right here. It's really, it's, we, we, we extended it one day. That was it because the challenge already started today. So if you had some doubts or you're not sure, look, this, if you are doubting and you're not sure if this is for you, either you're going to do this today or tomorrow, it's still going to be the same. Like it, the, the doubt will not disappear unless you're going to take action towards doing something about it. So the best action if you if you're doubting if you're not sure is to actually almost go against yourself like you 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 doubtful you don't think you can do it just do it and prove yourself that you can do it because it will not go away it's gonna actually more postpone and procrastinate more fear and doubt you actually deliver to yourself remember this the best way to knock the doubt and to fight it is to act to act towards this. You're actually going towards the fear. You're actually going towards that doubt with just being mindful, being present, being aware that you're not perfect, yet that you cannot do everything, but just because you want it, it's gonna happen for you. So I hope you will enjoy and the session and that you're gonna join us for the challenge because those are final moments. We already have participants taking pictures before and after and it's all visual it's visual challenge there are some things that you need to do obviously on our private facebook vip page but that's something when you sign up you're gonna know what to do it's it's really simple six weeks of transforming your body you're gonna see sessions popping people posting and i don't want you to miss it you know it's uh that pain of regret regret is awful the the next few days when you're gonna be like ah, i should have signed up so don't let yourself get there act before it 
All right. Have a safe and beautiful Memorial Day. And again, thank you for those who served and who are serving this country. This was a pleasure. Ivanka, come here. Let's say, let's say goodbye to everybody. She was right next to me doing her little body weight exercises. Come. And we're going to say no excuses. Gonna say no excuses? No excuses. Yeah, <laughs> no excuses. Thank you. Bye.